What's up guys? This is Dennis from Barista Workout and today I'm here with Hannibal for King. Hello. I don't think I need to introduce uh, you very much. I um, think most of the people who are involved in calisthenics in any way know about you because in fact most people uh, that I interact with tell me that your videos were one of those uh, videos that got them started. So you might not be the one who invented everything, you might not be right. the one uh, that knows the most, but you're definitely right. the w you know one of those people that uh, had a great impact on many many people. Okay. So um, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions that I get a lot about you because many people um, yeah. that you yeah. know see you as as a role model in, in right. you know the type of workout um, direct these questions to me too. So uh, first question is. Um, how did you get started with calisthenics? What was the uh, the reason behind it? Well, as far as calisthenics, I got started because uh, uh, my brother was incarcerated. He, um, my brother was incarcerated for about a few years. He came home, and next thing you know, he started waking me up in the morning to go to the bar. Okay. I didn't like it. Surprisingly, I didn't like the bar, um, but it grew on me, you know. And then I just wanted to go as far as I can go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so would you say he was the one that basically taught you or was he just the reason for you to start? Well, like, like you just said about me, he didn't start me, he inspired me. Mm -hmm. You understand, he opened my eyes to it. And um, so pretty much I want to do the same for others and I see it's being done, so I appreciate the following. Okay, okay. Um, so when you got started, what would a typical workout look like back then? Yeah. Well, a regular workout for me, beginner, was pull-ups. Uh, he wanted me to do the pull-ups, the dips, and the push-ups. That's what they called the around the world workout. It was a workout they put together in prison, I guess. But, you know, you're just doing everything. You're just doing everything at one time mm -hmm. instead of doing legs today and arms tomorrow you're doing everything in one day so i was doing pull-ups about five to eight pull-ups when i started yeah about five to eight um about 10 to 15 dips and about 10 to 15 maybe 20 push-ups because us as me and males we should do push-ups so about 15 to 20 push-ups so that was pretty much it, and mm -hmm. I stuck to that routine, which was uh, we call now around the world. Mm -hmm. That's the basics, and that pretty much I feel will get anybody that's dedicated um, to where we're at right now. Okay. Um, so once you got that, and once you did that around the world routine, mm -hmm. what led you to you know taking the next step, trying to go above the bar and mm -hmm. do you know all the crazy stuff that ended up you know being the result of it? Okay, well, the main issue there was, uh, you know, you go to the park, right? It's a bunch of guys there sometimes. See, in the urban community, it's different. You already got to be tough. So, I was dealing with that. Um, it was some guys around who looked it in great shape, though. So, you know, it makes you work harder because you don't want to be the guy who's in last place. You know what I mean? Even though there's no competition. So, uh, I just kept working and then I said, you know what, we all doing the same thing. So how could this man think he's better than me? And why should I feel some kind of way when he acts that way? We're doing the same thing. So mentally I just wanted to see how far the human body could go. Mm -hmm. So mentally I took myself to where we're at now. Everything you see me doing on the bars, I mentally seen it first. And if I visual if I could mentally visualize it clearly. Nine times out of ten, I felt that I could do it. So that's what you guys mm -hmm, did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason I'm asking this is because um, when people try to figure out the history behind calisthenics, they try to find a connection between gymnastics and calisthenics, basically assuming that you know someone saw a gymnastic guy uh, on TV or saw a gymnastics competition and then just went to the park and tried to imitate that. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your take on that? Do you think gymnastics basically inspired you to do what you do, or did that develop independently? Well, gymnastics, uh, I believe, inspired a lot of people. It's always been going on. You just got to do your history. But um, it didn't inspire me. It was the closest thing I could get to gymnastics in my neighborhood. Because uh, 
like when I was young, I read up on uh, weightlifting. Everybody was wrapped up. Their joints was wrapped up. You know, um, I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I always wanted a nice physique. So uh, gymnasts always had a nice upper body. So, you know, I really enjoy what they do also. I still do enjoy it. So I wanted to do my best to get that type of strength and mindset as well. But unfortunately, I don't have the opportunity to be in gymnastic mm -hmm. gym, so I did it in the park. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my best to show them now we all can do, you know, what you guys feel you're a lead at. Now, I want them to show us they can do it as well. I want to see our moves done. Well, it's not our move, because I don't like when people say what's theirs and what we do, we all work hard. So, I would like to see the moves, some of the moves that's done in the calisthenic community. I would love to see that in the gymnastic world. Hmm. Cars on the rings, you know, people opening up and doing planches on the rings without bending the elbow. You know, I mean, it's hard work. It's whatever your imagination brings to, to mind, you know, why not? Hmm. You got the access to it. So, and I may do it. I have a gym now it's called Pace Performance. You know, there's some rings there, so I'm working new, on New toys. Yes. yes. A lot of people uh, look up to you not only because of what you do, the, the type of uh, moves you do, but also, you know, the type of physiques, uh, physique that you have, um, something that a lot of people aspire to. So, um, you know, many want to follow your workouts hoping that they will get the same type of results. Um, when, you, when you started, were you, you know, already built or were you very slim? What was your, your starting point? Um, <coughs> excuse me, now, I was, uh, I was, like I said, I was always the little guy, always, so, um, I was a little frail, it's just, uh, how could I say, I was always active, so, a lot of people say I always had a physique when I was young, but I was always active, I was always climbing gates and trees and on the monkey bars and ropes, so, it would bring that physique. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I mean, it ain't like none of us was born with six packs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I was always a little slim guy, very slim. So, I didn't have nobody fat to burn off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just started working real hard. You know? And it just came? It became, yeah, it built in the mass because uh, my, my mother's. She's slim. She has a, she, I, I believe, it's a, a country uh, trait. They, they're from the country, so whatever traits and, and things come through their genes, maybe I got some of that. Then my father, he's a box, uh, ex-boxer, and he's in nice shape, you know. But um, my thing is, if they wasn't born like that, it don't matter, you know what I mean? So it, it all boils down to hard work, no matter how it goes. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the main thing. Okay, uh, just for information, because a lot of people want to know that, uh, what's your height and your weight right now? My height, what, 5'7", five, 5'8", five, somewhere around that. Uh, my weight is around 170, 175. I, care, I could care less about it. If it ain't around 185, 190, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's another, that's a main another main reason. Uh, you see that the work is is so back and forth. It's like a lot of freestyle. A lot of people ask for a main stream straight routine. You know, I'm doing my best to to get my weight back. You know what I mean? Without jumping off of my routine. So I'm doing my best to throw a little bit of this in there and a little bit of that in there, but. You know, next thing you know, my routine is excluded. So I'm doing my best not to uh, pretty much stress weight. That's why people ask about the height and weight. They don't have, I don't have a problem with telling the height nor the weight. It's just telling the weight brings that back to my attention because a lot of people want to lose weight. I look to gain weight. I don't like to lose weight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Okay, uh, that brings up the next question. Um, what about nutrition? Do you have a certain certain rules that you stick by or are you one of those guys that can just eat whatever you want and you know still keep the shape well i like to uh, i like to eat happy i like to eat and be happy so whatever my taste buds 
enjoy. That's what I'm going to eat. Um, I love to eat healthy as well. But uh, you may see a bunch of healthy food on my plate. It's going to be some steak and some, some garbage, what they, what they call it in the media. It's going to be some of that on my plate as well. So um, my thing is I love red meat. I love beef. That's part of my main diet. Like, if you say I do have a diet, if we all have a diet, I love beef. I love potatoes, uh, I love cheese, bacon, um, you know what I mean, those are things I love, eggs, I love eggs, uh, that was one of the first things I learned how to cook, you know, I love baking cakes, so I love goodies, love making cheesecakes, so it's like, I eat like everybody else, mm -hmm. it's just, my thing is, why should I not eat what makes me happy and taste so good, right? <laughs> We know all we got to do is put some hard work in. Right. And you can eat that. So, look, um, it's a lot of food upstairs, right? It's a it's, it's a pan of seafood rice, right? I, this is what I ate last night. I ate a bunch of seafood rice, macaroni and cheese, some green beans. Uh, what, was, what else was that? Uh, uh, the barbecue ribs. And it was something else. I think it was fish or something. I don't know. It's just be she cooked whatever and I ate it, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my thing is, if you eat reckless, you going you gotta work harder. My thing is for the people who don't eat like that, people who diet, they it just make their workout a little easier. That's how I see it. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. So basically, your take is if you eat more calories, you have to yes. work out more and harder to burn it up. So or that's like, look, this is a a, a way to look at it. If you love working out, right, you're addicted to working out, calisthenics. If you just feel like you want to do it more, go eat reckless. Go eat reckless. You're going to have to do it more. You know? <laughs> it makes sense. Okay, okay, yeah. But you don't have any type of structured diet, would you no, say? No. Okay, well, now, a lot of people say, well, Hannibal says that he eats whatever I want, so I can do it too. Yeah. No. What would you say? Well, no, that's no. Everybody can do that. I I like to say you can eat what you want. You just got to put in some hard work. But some people can eat like uh, a vegan and work very hard and still have an issue with losing weight. Now, there's a lot of different ways weight sit on our body. You got to look in your your history. You got to look through your your family genes and see the structure of your family. You got to understand these things and uh. Like I said, you can eat what you want, you can work very hard, uh, if your body ain't built like that, it ain't built like that. And uh, another thing is, a big part of it is metabolism. There's a way to speed up your metabolism, there's a way to slow it down. A lot of people don't want to speed their metabolism up, because you got to work harder, you're going to sweat. Everybody don't want to sweat and stink. I do not have a problem with smelling bad and <laughs> sweating. <laughs> you see the results, so, you know, it's, it's a lot that you gotta go through to get what you want and some people ain't, ain't willing to do it you know so uh, it's like this if you want to lose weight why go get liposuction when you could just work hard and make sure it stays off you know something may go bad in surgery do it the right way it may take longer and you're proud of it. you enjoy it more because you worked hard mm -hmm. for it. my thing is others out there showing a lot more than results you know a lot of people are selling a lot more than results, you know what I mean? I want to share the information which is honest, factual information, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And um, go back to it, everybody carry their weight different, you know? You got to watch your water weight, you know what I mean? Uh, some people uh, have uh, just just that heavy, that heavy thick skin and some people just big boned it. So, no matter how you cut it, if they were to lose weight and get in shape, maybe they'll look funny. So you got to be happy with you, you know what I mean? And, uh, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. you know? And it also boils down to finding out what works for you. Uh, exactly. And not trying to always copy you know, what someone else is doing. There you go. Exactly. Because everybody could do the handbook for King Workout, if you call it that. Um, but if you can't do it, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody can strive for it, but at the end of the day, I mean, I appreciate the following, 
my thing is uh we need to show okay I could branch off after a while. I got my own brain, I got my own insight, I'm gonna try something different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if I need to come back here, I appreciate you having your door open, I'm gonna come check you out. So you know, that's the main thing, like you said, everybody gotta do what's best for them. I know I can eat like that because I've been knowing it. I've been eating like that, man. I mean, it's it's something you gotta just like we gotta train ourselves to when we work out, we train our bodies to get in shape. I train my system to accept all that crap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who says it's good, but you know, hey, it worked. You know okay, what I mean? okay. And it feels this monster that you guys see on the video. I couldn't eat carrots and lettuce and, and jump on them balls and, and do what I do. That's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Okay, but boils down to finding out what works for you. Uh, same thing for workout. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people want to know what is like the secret exercise. What is the mm -hmm. secret? How many reps mm -hmm. and sets and how many seconds do I have to rest yeah, between? Rest um, mm -hmm. so, you know, a lot of people want to have very specific, um, very mm -hmm. specific uh, yeah. guidance regarding mm -hmm. what you do or what someone else does, so that they can copy it. Um, mm -hmm. But what is what does your workout nowadays look like? Um, how many times a week or a day or how long does it, does it last? Well, to be honest, it's slow up because uh, I just had my son. Um, my first son, so, I mean, it's slowed up because, you know, he's way more important than that to me. Um, but um, on the average, it's like uh, I go to the park. I do, uh, I don't count sets. I don't count sets. I, I go by time. So say I go to go, go to the park right now. It's 4 o'clock, 4.20, right? 25. I want to look to stay in the park till about 6, 6.30. Now, the only thing I'm counting is how many I'm doing on the ball. Like I may do 10 on the pull-up ball. A lot of people say, how many pull-ups you do? I still do 10 pull-ups a set. I'm not doing 20 pull-ups. You guys can keep it. I'm not burning out. Look, you see guys who burn out, you see their results. I've been taking my shirt off from day one. I've been doing 10 pull-ups and I'm not going to add no more. I used to do 13, I used to do 15. I played with different numbers to see what I like. 10 is a number I can remember it's comfortable for me to mentally work and still mentally focus on holding my body in certain ways and tensing up certain muscles. 13 is an uncommon number I may forget. I may, once I get off at 10, I may already be ready to get down. My body is trained to stop at 10. So as I push to 13 or 15, my body may not, it may be hesitant to get down at 13 or just ready to go at 15. And you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of mental work as far as that. Um, so I do 10 pull-ups, basically. I do about 20 to 25 dips every clip. You know, they dips. Regular. Let's get that in. And um, pause our push-ups, about 25 pull-ups. I mean, push-ups a clip. If I want to add more, I add more. But, you know, that's to keep it focused. And that's one round. That's so one you go round. non-stop, 10 pull-ups, yeah. 25 dips, and push-ups. Yes. And then you may say I want to throw some, some what I call this freestyle. I call freestyle is you doing it regular. This is what I call freestyle. You doing it regular around the world, like I just explained, right? Like we just went through. Now, now you add some of your advanced work, right? So you doing the basics, but you want the muscle memory to stay the same. You don't you don't want your body to get trained now away from the extreme work we doing on camera. To, to now when it come on time for you to get in front of the camera to do some planches or some front levers or something. Your body ain't used to that no more. So I call it freestyle. You do the pull-ups, the dips, the push-ups. You may do some tricep work. You do about 25 triceps. And then I may want to do some planches. So I do the planches. I do about maybe five of those because I'm not training for the planche right now. My body got to stay in it. Uh, basic routine and the basic routine mode in the zone, but I also want to keep it reminded mm -hmm. of some of this extreme work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. You know? And so, how many like this around the work routine? How many rounds would you do? 
Just, however many I could do within that that hour. And but hour. if you do that one hour, that's what you do back to back. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's. Do you that's it. do you rest in between, or do you just go from push ups um, straight back to the pull ups? I rest when my body is needs a rest. If I don't need a rest, I don't need a rest. Mm -hmm. You know, if I if I'm a little tight, I just gotta. I feel like when I'm on the ball, if I'm doing the dips, if I'm doing the pull ups from. For him, for the forearm or, or for the bicep, however I'm doing it. When I feel like I'm tired, I just relax, take a deep breath, and then I get back on rhythm. So I start to breathe with my work, you know, and that's why you always see a rhythm and you see me so focused and so strict because I'm, I'm keeping myself from blanking out. Sometimes you see me on video, I almost blank out. I got to keep focus. I got to keep that breathing going. You know what I mean? So it's 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 a lot. That's why I look to share. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to share with mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. um, the plant is a move is not to be done twenty times. I don't care who you think you are. It's not. I got the medical history you guys will see soon, one of these days. <laughs> My back, I'm, I want you guys to see the x ray. You understand? You understand? It's a lot to deal with it and um I've been had a slip disc in my lower back. I didn't go to the hospital. I'm, I'm tough, you know, all of that ignorance, right? I was young and tough. Uh, long story short, it caught up to me. It started aching. I, I would bend over and couldn't get straight back up for days. Uh, I started working out doing the planche. In the midst of all of that injury, I still learned how to do the planche and different things. The planche felt good. I didn't know when I went to the hospital, they said that move, the way I explained it to the doctor, he didn't believe it was possible. He was a doctor, he is a big doctor, he worked out. He said, I lift weights that don't sound like it's possible. So I explained it to him, it is. Um, long story short, he said, from doing the plant, the muscles in my lower back, since they were already damaged, they started fighting. To, to, to get stronger, quicker than almost any part on me, you understand? It was growing and getting stronger than my, my biceps, my delts, anything on me, my back muscles was getting the strongest. So, like I said, I want you guys to see the x-ray and the paperwork. Um, you know, your, 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 your spine's supposed to have a little curve at the bottom. Mine's is straight, like, like straight, like a, a, a broomstick. And when he showed me my x-ray with this straight spine, so I said, what's wrong? That's good. That means the workout helped him. He said, no. He showed me another x-ray, and I seen the curve. He was like, now that's how your spine's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. So, you know, long story short, the planch is damaging. So who knows what it'll do to someone who didn't slip a disc. You know what I mean? I feel, you know, sometimes a, a beat up muscle or a bone, a beat up area on the body, sometimes stronger than it was ever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, my thing is saying my, my back was stronger than the average back, so I look at it the way I look at it. What happens if that happens to someone with an average back who ain't been doing back work? They just been doing uh, calisthenic street workout or whatever they want to call it, going over the bar and doing a flag, but ain't nobody ever in their life before they did a flag started working their lower back. Yeah, yeah right. Mm -hmm. And also a reminder that only because someone does a certain move doesn't mean that it's healthy. It could be, yeah, you, you know, know, there's a lot of stuff that uh, maybe someone might have injuries and might have issues, but he's not telling you. And right. so you copy their workout and um, mm -hmm. might have, end up injured. But um, That's it. Always important to be healthy when you and make sure that that you stay safe. Yes. Yes. Um, well, you just you just explained around the word routine. Um, seem if if you mm. explain that to someone, that might seem too easy. It's like right. ten pull-ups. That's, that's nothing. Um, yeah. But putting that together and doing it over time, of course, yeah. that brings a whole new challenge. Yeah. Now um, you were just talking about the planche. Did was the fact that you were able to do the planche, was that just a result of your regular workouts or did you train specifically uh, with certain exercises to get that move, for example? Well, the planche was a, it was a result of the basic work. One day I was doing dips, you know, some, my brother, 
he said you gotta do you gotta lean more into him and do regular dips like you know they call it the airplane all of this different gel yeah superman <laughs> all of this crap so i'm just saying i'm doing dips leaning into them a little further that's it and i kept doing them and something said you know what won't you just try to lean all the way out one day i did it so i kept just leaning out into it like oh this is hot then i would just lean out into it so then somebody was like, oh, watch what he going to do. Because, you know, I used to do it in the neighborhood. So one guy was like, oh, he must go and do that Superman looking thing again today. So I said, you know what? Motivation. I got tired of people looking at me like, oh, he doing something basic. So I did it. I got into the plant. And then I just started doing push-ups. And it's been like that since. Mm -hmm. You see me do the plant, you see other people do the plant push-ups. I do my best to get my whole body underneath the dip bar to where the dip bar is behind my back. That's how far I want to do my best to go when I do the plank. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of just getting my chest right there. No, no, no. Okay. You know? Yeah. That's right. why it's like a lot of people uh, got their own insight on what they want to do. Like the way I want to do certain work, other people could do it with less uh, effort. And it come out great, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just like to put in a little more effort, be a little different. Okay. Now, what happens a lot, um, someone sees a video and says, oh, I want to be like that. I want to do that. Um, and if I, if I can do a front lever, then I'm going to look like him. Um, not realizing the time and effort that went into it. Right. How, how many years have you been doing this now? I've been doing calisthenics for about 20 years now. Yeah. About 20 years, maybe a little more. And out of these 20 years, how, how long would you say did it take you until you were at a level that you can say, okay, now I, I got something, like I, I, oh, far I as reached as something. Seeing physique. Yeah. Hmm. I would say for us, for me, about a year and a half. Now remember, I was out there every day, seven days a week. I went celibate. A lot of people don't understand. I went celibate because I felt until I look like the man I, I feel I am and I'm growing to be. I don't deserve sex or nothing else. So I stopped having sex and I stopped hanging with the crowd. I stopped hanging with friends because I didn't deserve none of that to me. I needed I, I, I needed more to, to, to gain. I needed to, I had to do more to, in my mind to earn these privileges. So. I did that. Let's assume, you know, a guy who, who already works out, he maybe goes to the gym and can do, let's say, 10 okay. pull-ups and 20 dips and 20 push-ups. Right. Um, what, what would you recommend? The basic around the word routine or what would be like the, you know, the routine to start with? Well, if he's not able to do a certain amount of pull-ups, right, we're going to see what's his max. Not on an average, just as max. And then we'll 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 break it down from there. Mm -hmm. We'll figure out an average number to give them from there to do all around the world. Because everybody, no matter who it is, it must do the around the world. You cannot okay. do this and do that. Then we're gonna do this, then we're gonna go do the jump rope, then we're gonna do the stretch band, then we're gonna climb the rope. No. If you ain't doing none of that more than one time, it ain't working. So that's why the around the world, just do that, walk in a circle, just keep walking in a circle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, it, it works, it plays off. Okay. So anybody, whoever it is, even if you can't do pull-ups, a lot of people say, I can't do pull-ups, hang from the ball. Just get on the ball. Don't just hang too far the way your, your joints is locked completely out and you feel a separation and you just dead weight. I don't promote that. When I see that, no. I take the individual away, the client away from the bar, and they don't ever get a chance to be around the bar again. And if they show even less effort, they don't get to see me anymore. <laughs> you know? It's not not about the routine; it's about the effort that you yeah. You, you, put gotta into be, it. you gotta show some kind of real serious effort because this is you who's getting better. Mm -hmm. I look the way I look already, and I eat garbage, so I look I'm doing good. You know. What I mean? <laughs> For all of them questions, I don't know if you probably wanted to ask, ask me that. I'm gonna address a question that I've been coming across as well. It's, it's flattering though. I gotta say thank you guys. If I look that good, I don't know, or that bad, however you wanna put it. I do not take steroids. I don't know how steroids look. 
I don't know anybody in the ghetto where I'm from who ever known about having a steroid dealer. So y'all gotta ask me about some different drugs. That one I ain't never had, ain't never ran across. I don't know how it looked. I don't know how to buy it. I don't know how much it costs, and I don't care for it. I like burgers, bacon, cheese. Some people say bacon is like a drug. You know, Muslims don't like bacon. You know, I will. No disrespect. I'll eat food. They eat their food, I eat my food. But you'll see the difference in everybody. You see the difference in vegans. It looked like you could see the bone, everything. You see the difference in me. You see a vegan six pack, you see my six pack. You will see a major difference. Mine just looked like, it just looked a little different. A little funny, a little bulky and, you know, and there's meat around. You rarely see a six pack with meat around. You usually see the bone at the pelvis. Mm. You see the rib cage. Nah. I need my little love handles at the bottom of my six pack or whatever it is. You know, it look good. It, I feel pretty good. And it's like I said, a lot of people are working, like you said, a lot of people aren't working for themselves. They're working for somebody else to, to appreciate. I do what I do for me. You know what I mean? And a lot of people work out. They don't know what they're doing. I, see, this is something else a lot of people don't know about. And this is something else a lot of these other trainers don't know. I know how to scope the body. I know how to put what where with just calisthenic. That's why I look like this. Now, I plan on adding more certain places because that's just how I want to look. You guys will see it. I mean, I'm just doing my best to, to uh, keep people from making them mistakes. I'm doing my best to avoid them from making that many mistakes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All you gotta do is work hard. That's the main thing I've been saying from right. day one. Okay. Work hard. Yeah. Now, in fact, um, I, I put up a question on, on Facebook earlier asking what would you ask Hannibal for King mm -hmm. to see, you know, what, what right. people want to know. And a lot of people said uh, they want to know where do you get your motivation from? Because many people struggle. They have, you know, they have to fight yeah. to get up every day and yeah. go to the gym or to the park. Mm -hmm. um, what is it that keeps you mm -hmm. motivated and gets you, gets you the drive? Um, what always motivated me was the doubt. I've been doubted a lot in this neighborhood and, and family members or whatever. But um, that wasn't even enough. That helped, it fueled it, but uh, what really motivates me is um, seeing others do it too. You know, I see the kids come to the park and show I can do this too. I can do, they trying to do what I did the other day or whatever. You know, they see more parents come spend time at the park with their kids, even if it's women. Whatever. They coming to get an eye at the body, but they spending more time with the kids. So just seeing what it it did, just being able to take my shirt off and see what it does for people, you know. That, that's motivation, that's, that's inspiration, you know what I mean? Just seeing, if I just take my shirt off, how, how to change people's reactions and, and their moods, you know what I mean? Just imagine what we could do if we just apply a little more, you know what I mean? Now, all right, what you going to do after you take your shirt off? What you going to say? What you got to talk about? So that's my thing. Everything people see of me, they're going to see some positivity. Some people don't want to see that. So you gotta go watch World Star Hip Hop for that, <laughs> cause uh, the negativity ain't on YouTube anymore. I love that. You don't see no negative videos on YouTube anymore. Everybody topless. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? No women have a problem. There should be no unhappy women in the world. All men look great right now. You know what I mean? So I just that's that's see and breaking it down like that. That's part of the inspiration and motivation, knowing what we get from it. Yeah, that's what you do has yeah. more uh, results than what you see immediately. Yes. Okay, so what are some uh, last tips that you can give to people that uh, want to get started or maybe want to get better? First thing they got to do is do it for themselves. You got to do it for yourself. You got to work hard. You must stay consistent. Don't worry about doing no freestyle. Stay consistent with the routine. That's it. And that's the secret. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. And let's do some pull-ups. Yes. <laughs>